Hello and welcome to tonight's recording and it's The Lovers and it's Christmas time so I've recorded this for you so that you don't miss a thing. So with no further ado let's look at the combination of pairs when we are looking at The Lovers. So welcome back to my channel my name's Anne-Marie and it's wonderful to have you here. Normally we are live with this but tonight because it is Christmas I have recorded a couple of these tutorials for you. The Lovers and the Nine of Pentacles. What's it all about? Well we're feeling the energy of the two cards and combining them. So the Knight of Pentacles is a card of a woman who is doing exactly as she pleases because she's earned the right to and she has choices in how she makes her money. So she's a great communicator, she's somebody that is able to express herself wholeheartedly and she knows what she wants and she has proved in the past that she is quite capable of getting exactly what she wants and loving every minute of it. She's got perfect harmony and balance in her life. We can assume that with the Nine of Pentacles uh, we are continuing our theme of asking when our querent, which is the person that's having a reading, what's going to happen in my career? I want to have a look at that. So we're assuming that they are asking a career question and we are assuming that they are asking about themselves and no one else. So that's what this is about and how we'd answer that is you've got a lot of choices, you're doing really well, it's been a uh, position where you have walked the boards, you've had great success with this, it's working really well for you and there's choices about how you actually choose to earn your money right now and that could be a balance between bringing in something um, else, uh, adding more to what they're doing or taking some time for relaxation to enjoy the fruits of their hard-earned labours. So this is someone that's got some choices about how they're going to spend their time and the money because they have already been successful. So now we've got the Eight of Pentacles. Well the Eight of Pentacles is definitely a card of carving out your own money and would probably suggest that this person with the lovers combined and the age of pentacles here that they have choices about how they make money and they're probably a bit of an entrepreneur with many many choices they're good at making money they're already doing it they're probably looking at what their choices are and they're probably looking at the problems that they are faced and the challenges in the way in which they are carving out their future the uh, mountains in the middle of the lovers shows us some of the challenges. The communication is there because the lovers card is a card of communication, it's also a card of choice and it's about being able to make sure that they are in a position of choosing how they earn their money and what enterprises they actually do. Eight of Pentacles is always a card of your own enterprises and your own skills and sometimes people choose not to be self-employed they choose to actually hold on to something where they do some work for themselves and maybe they've got some choices by working with organizations or establishments where they go in and do just maybe some part-time work or they're on contract or they actually work full-time for someone else and they are doing the eight of pentacles trick which is all to do with carving out self-employment for themselves as well okay but that could be more the two of pentacles let's take a look at that one so on the screen now I've got for you the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles is definitely all to do with choices about two different jobs and that could be two different jobs that they are looking at. It may be that they are looking at going part-time for both of them. They may have two part-time jobs. One of them of course could be full-time and they are doing a sideline and working for themselves. So this could be somebody that works for the man full time uh, for the organization and does their own thing once they finish um, that nine to five position we'll assume Monday to Friday 
or they have two part-time jobs which they are juggling or they are in a position that they are doing their own venture maybe at the weekends and working full-time during the weekdays it's definitely about choices about how they actually earn their bread and butter in their livelihood okay don't mistake that um, pentacles is just about money it's all to do with what they have already manifested and achieved so this is somebody that's already doing this not somebody that wants to or is thinking about or um, is working towards this is something that's already happening so I brought a court card on for you Queen of Wands well this is somebody that's very serious in their actions when it comes to matters of work remember that's um, the question that we keep coming back to too complicated to go into different scenarios so I've decided to pick one for you and talk about work work matters and with the lovers choices to do with um, our current asking about matters of work well Queen of Wands is somebody that definitely is already in action and she's pretty serious and the Queen of Wands is somebody that's trusted liked respected and her choices are that she is looking at others and she's expecting that other people make the choice to actually accept her for who she is she is somebody that she's hardworking she's skilled and there is a feeling that she likes communicating with people who are on the same vibe as her communication comes from the lover's card which is um, related to the astrological association of Gemini lots of choices she's also somebody that can turn her hand into the logical sort of side of things because we've got that male duality there that's going on with the lovers but being a court card it's best if we feed the energy of the lovers into the queen of wands slightly different when we've got a court card and in this scenario it's showing our queen of wands is somebody that's very skilled at communication she has a lot of choices she's very good at navigating problems because we can see the mountain in the background she gets um, things done uh, in action she takes things seriously she's trusted in what she's doing and she's very clear in her communication the mountains in the background represent some of the challenges and the problems that may be faced and I think that when we look at this we can see that our Queen of Wands is quite serious in what she does and she's probably good at getting other people um, to actually communicate with them and give them advice and give them the scenarios of what they can actually achieve if they put their minds to it she's got a lot of choices she's somebody that is caring she is pleasant she has a good ethic of work a pleasant disposition and she's somebody that has walked the boards because Queen of Wands has got there through experience it also shows that um, Queen of Wands is somebody that's very trusting in her communication she leads by example she is somebody that will roll her sleeves up and get involved but she's good at delegating to other people and communicating with them what kind of problems they may be challenged with so she's probably somebody that's giving impartial advice and uh, taking lead in work matters and she has a lot of choices because she's got a lot of strings to her bow so we've got the lovers and the ten of wands here is a card of you have choices and it's all about your actions and it's saying you can choose to carry on and do everything yourself or you can actually look at this and say it's time to delegate to other people other people can take action and get things done in just the same way as you can but they probably need some communication to give them some um, of the uh, ideas of what it is that you've got in mind for them so clear direction and asking for a helping hand and if somebody's offering you a helping hand it's your choice to take it so 
The lovers is saying there's more choices available to you, even though you are feeling physically burnt out. Maybe you're exhausted at work. And it's saying, what's this all about? You've got to look at this. And the choices that you've got are quite simple. You can't carry on carrying that load all alone. It's time to actually look at completion, the ends in sight. And if we look at the Ten of Wands, we can see our figure walking towards what's looking like a town in the distance, which kind of shows that the end is actually in sight. But it's also telling us that you don't have to keep going on your own right now. There is help around. You've just got to communicate to others that you need that help. Or maybe they've already communicated with you and you've probably been a little bit wrapped up in what you're doing and feeling so overwhelmed and physically shattered from your endeavours that you just felt that it's easier to soldier on rather than sit down and communicate your wants and your needs to someone else. But there are choices and you don't have to do this alone is what this card um, is actually telling us by the lover's choice and the turn of wands as a pair. It's saying you have choices, very big choices. This is not just your burden and there are different ways of doing things. Yes, actively this person has been given their all and they are near completion. And maybe there is a feeling of, well, I'll just carry on and uh, keep going. But it is actual physical burnout, tiredness, and maybe you've lost your way. Maybe you're actually doing too many things for other people, especially if it's somebody that you like. Because the lovers is always about that physical attraction to other people. And it doesn't have to be in love matters. I don't mean that. I mean, you might actually really like and admire and respect somebody for their physical hard work. And you feel that you've got to do the same. Not so. You've got different choices. That's what this pair means. This is a great pair. We've got the lovers and the seven of wands, which is showing that you are in a privileged position. And we're assuming this person is asking about work and their action at work. So the seven of wands is saying, you've got a slightly different sort of footing to everybody else. You're in a place of advantage. You need to actually uh, communicate with other people. But the seven of wands is a card of saying that you need to play your cards very close to your chest. So in your communication, don't reveal everything. You know, you are in a place of victory right now and you are definitely fighting off your attackers or uh, your competition um, when it comes to matters of work. It's a choice now about looking at what you do next. And that can be quite lonely up there on your own. So maybe one of the choices is to actually turn around and ask the cavalry to come in and help you a little bit, but don't reveal too much of your strategies. In your communication, and this comes from the lovers because it is linked to the astrological sign of Gemini, which is all about choices and communication and mountains that you need to actually uh, overcome. You see the mountain there in the middle suggesting that there's a problem and it's saying that, you know, you're in a great place right now, but you know, how long can you stay there and how long can you stand on your own? So in a place of advantage, use those advantages very, very wisely and make sure that in your communication that you are clear what you want, but don't reveal everything. And we've got the lovers and the three of wands. So this is about choices and communication when it comes to third parties. So it looks here as if our person who's asking about work has a few choices and it's to do with other people and other projects. And this may be about being creative with other people. So maybe you're being asked to take part in something. But again, um, it would be a case of looking at the creative flow 
could suggest that you could be working very closely with somebody because we've got the two of ones very close on the right hand side or that you may be the one that's feeling a little bit like you're working on your own while everyone else is working as a team. So the choice here is how do you create, how do you expand and which choice would you want if it's presented to you? Do you want to kind of work on your own and do your own thing with the help of others? Or would you like more help and you'd like someone else to be taking the lead to give you that direction? Either way, it's looking at what can I achieve in my career? What will happen? What will happen if I invest my time, my energy and my actions based on what I'm currently doing? And based on what I'm currently doing comes from the three of wands because this person is in action now. That's what we know when we've got ones, it's something that they are already in action of, I, they're actualizing it. Um, so we've got a choice, why? Because we've got the lovers, which is about choices. And it's also about looking at the obstacles and the challenges that lie ahead. We know that from the mountain in between the lovers. And it's also about being able to see See the clouds in the middle there? That's some um, suggesting that there are things that are still a little bit hidden. Clouds hide things. It means we don't actually see everything. It's not a sneaky thing. It means we just don't have that clarity um, in our communication or we don't have that clarity in our thinking. But the three of ones is something that's being actualized right now and the opportunity to create with others. So we've got the lovers and the ace of wands here. So choice of a brand new enterprise that's been actualized for you right now. All aces in tarot are gifts. The ace of wands is something that's actualizing. It's not something that you think, it's not something that you want, um, because that would be um, either the ace of swords in thinking or wanting, which would be the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Pentacles means it's already materialized or already manifested, shall we say. The Ace of Wands is an action being offered to you and it's to do with how you communicate, how you think, how you view reality as to how this enterprise can go for you. It can represent a job offer. The Ace of Wands can always be seen as the offer of a job. And seen as on question is about career, I would certainly say that this is somebody that's going to be offered a new career opportunity. It may not be a brand new job. It may actually be a new opportunity and something they're already doing, of course. But no doubt there is a beginning for this person that is now in action. Okay, so the cups, and we've got the Eight of Cups here, so the Lover's card telling us choices about emotional matters of walking away. And we are talking only about our question, which is work, so it's not romantic. You could be forgiven for thinking that, but it's not. Maybe there are emotional matters going on in this person's life that is to do with why they are going to walk away from something. So something that they really care about. It could be the relationship that's getting in the way of their career. It could be the career that's getting in the way of their relationship. We would need to know a little bit more about um, this person and to see what's going on, where this lands. We're saying this is in the self. So at the moment it's saying you've got a choice to walk away and that could be from your relationship or from your place of work. As I say, you would really need to see the rest of the cards in the spread to be able to answer this um, categorically. But at least it lets you know that this person is thinking that they care about everything, but they must do their own thing and they must do what's best for them. And they know that it's gonna be difficult and they know that they may do this for a short period of time. How do we know that? Ace, 
Eight of Cups, I beg your pardon, um, is a card of actually walking away for a short period of time while you actually see where it takes you and you may come back to this. And we know that because of that moon represented in the sky there, which represents maybe in 28 days time because of the crescent moon and the full moon representing 28 days in a month that we will feel that we have done what we need to do and emotionally we'll know more at that point about what we want to do. So it's based upon maybe going for it because you want to and seeing how you feel a little later on. So the lovers and the four of cups in our person's reading, which is all to do with their career. They are really dissatisfied and things that have been offered to them right now are not emotionally feeling as if it's going to make them feel any better. Um, they need to actually decompress, take some time out. Uh, they're at a point of apathy. They've got choices, but they don't know what to do. And this isn't a time to make decisions based on where they're at. They just need to have a little bit of time out away from everyone and everything while they see how they feel. And although things have been offered to them, it's dissatisfaction. It's not hitting the nerve as it were. And it's not their choice. They can see problems with this. They can see that it's not emotionally going to be fulfilling for them. So the lovers and the page of swords. So frustrations. The lovers is a card of communication and choices. And the page of swords is always about minor irritations and setbacks. Usually a good word for the Page of Swords is frustration and it's because they are in their thoughts, they are stuck um, in a place where their thinking has not yet developed to take them to the next part of uh, what is in store for them. So um, perhaps it's sparked by an idea and it's to do with the fact that they do not feel qualified to be able to think beyond what they already know. They need more knowledge, they need more experience, they need more conversations with others, which could inspire them. But at the moment, that's not coming, because the Page of Swords is also a card of frustration and feeling that you're the last to know, or that you are hearing things late, or that you are only hearing parts or bits of the story. So there's a problem with communication here, and we said this is to do with work. So there's a lot of frustration going on at the moment, and we'd need to look at the other cards to see how this matter is going to develop, and the other positions in the spread, the surrounding cards. So, Nine of Swords, the 11th hour, stress, sleepless nights. This person is worried about recent communications at work, and they do not know how it's been interpreted. Yeah? Is it black or is it white? Or is it somewhere in the middle? Are there problems? Have they been understood? You know, they've got to try and get clarity here and they're not getting clarity. They're not feeling the person has been clear with them. And we can see that with the clouds, we can see that with the mountains. And we feel that the communication, that there is a gap there, the mountains between them, they're poles apart. So communication here, and we know it's to do with communication. The lovers is a card of communication, of course, but the nine of swords, well, it's swords, isn't it? So that's how we think, how we speak, and how we view reality. And what we've been shown here is communication is not on. There is definitely something amiss here, and it's keeping this person um, in a stressful place and they are dreading because they feel um, the fact that communication isn't going to get any better. You know, whether it's them, whether it's the other person deliberately being difficult or obtuse, um, no matter, it just feels as if, gosh, you know, I'm just not going to get a conclusion here. And that's really what this power is all about. So our last power um, for this recording is the Lovers and the Two of Swords. Now this is a card um, 
the right hand side, the Two of Swords, about indecisiveness and really not knowing which way to turn. Based on their current thinking, they are not able to view the situation clearly. We can see that with the blindfold, but the blindfold suggests it's the mental clarity and the communication that's been offered to them. Maybe they feel that they are not able to communicate with the other person clearly. They also feel that it's two ways. We've got the two of swords and we've got the lovers and they're feeling that it's both ways. They're not being heard, not being understood, and they feel that they are in a place where this is a struggle. The two of swords in this case is actually saying that they really do need to take off that blindfold and call a truce with themselves and maybe demand some kind of clear communication in order to find out what they are able to do next with the facts from communication from the other party and to be crystal clear with the other party themselves. So this is the time for uh, shall I do this or shall I say that? You've got to choose one. One way is going to take you through one door and the other decision will take you through the other. So this is a indecisive time. This is a time to make a choice and a decision based upon your current thinking, your speech and how you think and view reality based on another party. And we know that there is another party involved here because we've got the lovers, which is about two people. It could also be a third party, uh, which is what the mountain can represent here, that is not being clear either. So this could be very, very complex. Okay, And this is all to do with the matter of how will things go at work. So it's a time of great indecision in this pair. Okay. So thank you for watching. It's much harder when I record it because I don't have your lovely comments, reactions and interactions, but it's Christmas and I do hope that you understand that I didn't want you to miss out. So we'll be back in the new year with lives and um, yeah, there will be some Thursdays when I'm able to appear where it's not the festive sort of days of the Christmas calendar. So I'll see you then. And in the meantime, I just want to remind you, as you saw, please do subscribe to the channel and do put your lovely thoughts and comments down and let us know what stage of the journey you're at. If you want to be with me as a guest, you're very, very welcome to pop that in the comments. Tell us a little bit about where you are at in your journey and uh, we'll try and bring you on to the best of my ability. Uh, do bear in mind if somebody's already on, it can be difficult to have two guests sort of talking at once and me in the middle somewhere along the line. So uh, please do be patient with us, but I really would like your input on that. So if you want to write to me instead and ask um, when you could come on, you're very welcome to do that. It's hello at tarotwithemory.com. In the meantime, go and look at the courses. They're all on there for you to look at on my website, tarawithanmarie.com. And um, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. From me and Marie, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.